So my book, Being Numerous, its subtitle is Essays on Non-Fascist Life. It's a collection of essays which have been written over the last few years, um, each of which I hope is a sort of gesture or an interrogation of quite a broad idea of fascism. The book is about non-fascism in the way that um, Michel Foucault used, and I kind of think coined the term, which is to say uh, the ways in which we resist or might try to oppose ourselves to the micro-fascisms, again, a term Foucault uses, and that is the fascisms that undergird and permeate life under capitalism. Microfascism is that set of desires, hierarchies, organization that pushes us to adhere to power, to love power, to oppress and be oppressed. So I want to talk about anti-fascist habits, some of which uh, might involve um, the more classic Antifa organization and protest and intervention. Um, some of that might include um, taking to the streets and confrontation, um, but some of it also involves um, caution and care towards how we build communities, the kind of speech we use, um, and how we work and think of each other in collectives. The neoliberal standard and modernism per se has, in our lifetimes and always, been the precondition for fascist constellations to emerge. Um, Bertolt Brecht, the playwright, noted this in 1935 um, and critiqued the, uh, the person who was willing to decry fascism but not uh, critique and criticize and work against the capitalism that birthed it, which is why I, I am keen to press upon the point of the ways that micro-fascisms, the fascists even within our own heads, not necessarily the neo-Nazis like Richard Spencer, um, lay the ground and both the psychic and material conditions for uh, more obvious, more violent, more dangerous fascisms to emerge. George Oppen, late great modernist poet, um, wrote an incredible poem called Being Numerous. Um, and yes, that is where I, I take the title of my book from. Um, in Oppen's poem, he uses, he writes the line, we have decided the meaning of being numerous. Um, and in various ways expands on that to talk about how we work as a flow, but how we are also enumerated, um, individualized into the shipwreck of the singularity and struggle to find meaning between the two. And that was really compelling to me um, when reviewing my uh, essay collection, which talks a lot about obviously being or attempting to be a political multitude, a resistance mass, um, in, in the best way of being numerous, being together, um, but also in, in the like very troubled and pernicious way of we have decided the meaning of being numerous insofar as we also live as individuated, um, isolated, alienated, um, non-communal beings. And um, one essay in the book deals very specifically with the problem of complicity and the limits of consent when we talk about our own enumeration under totalized surveillance. Um, so I was trying to call upon that a little bit too. What does it mean to be numerous as amassed data? What does it mean to think numerously in, a, in another way to redefine the meaning of being numerous that doesn't mean being enumerated? Um, that's sort of what I'm touching upon with the title, I hope. If we do, you know, in the vein of Wilhelm Reich um, and Gilles Deleuze, understand um, fascism to be a kind of collective set of desires that are 
enabled and called upon collectively in certain spaces once those spaces are allowed to flourish. Surely if we want to intervene with that, it's about shutting down those spaces. It's about taking away the oxygen. Um, it's about deplatforming. Um, so I think a lot of people discredit that sort of Antifa action, the you know, vigorous street confrontations, the, the Richard Spencer punch, the calling for deplatforming in both campus spaces and you know, uh, bars where Nazi bands are playing. Um, this isn't just a kind of going low because the neo-Nazis and the alt-right alt -right go low. It's also, um, it's, it makes absolute sense if you understand that fascism flourishes and blossoms collectively and through sites of enabling desires. And if you make it intolerable, or at least really vastly unpleasant to find yourself in that space, to find yourself trying to exist online whilst organizing with other fascistic constellations and groups, if you find that every time you try and have a little neo-Nazi meet, that you will be met with tenfold more counter-protesters willing to make that space really quite unpleasant for you. That to me makes an absolute, that makes absolute sense as a way to intervene smartly, cleverly, and indeed rationally with the phenomenon of, of fascism.